This tutorial is uh, meant to introduce you to the proper wiring for the thermocouples. The thermocouples, all thermocouples, have a, a polarity that has to be followed. And on this breakout board, all the uh, blocks here are labeled. On the left, it's negative. On the right, it's positive. So here, if you look at the wire, you have a green. I'm sorry. My eyes are bad. You have a red and a yellow wire. The red wire will always be negative. The yellow wire will always be positive. So at a glance you can check to see that you have the proper polarity across all of the connections. Both the igniter thermocouples and the cook thermocouples should be wired the same way. How do you check to make sure you have a functioning thermocouple? Well there's two ways to do it. Uh, I will show you one way to use a multimeter to check that the thermocouple is working correctly and is reading the proper temperature. First off we need to identify which TC is 1, 2, 3 and so forth. For the igniter TCs number one would always correspond with the first burner and they are always wired on a 36 inch or 42 inch one, two, three, and four. For the cook TC, you have one, two, three. That's the wiring order. On a 30 inch grill, you would simply have igniter one, two, and this would always be four. Same goes with the cook temperatures, it'll be on a 30 inch grill, one, two, there is no three. On. So how do you use a multimeter to test the proper wiring function of the TC? Well, first, you get a handy multimeter, and what you want to do is, with the help of uh, uh, somebody else, you need a source of heat. In this case, we have just a little uh, butane torch here, or not a torch, a lighter. Uh, and what you want to do is use the probes on a multimeter uh, according to the polarity and fire up the source of heat and apply the heat to the individual TC to make sure that it's functioning. You will see a climb in temperature if the TC is working properly. So I'll show you how to do this one here. We'll want to turn on your multimeter to read temperature. You can apply the probes. In this case we will try the first TC. We want to show this first cook temperature uh, probe there. That would be number th one of the three. You can touch the block negative, positive. And if you notice the multimeter, it will read a temperature. Right now it's a little over 100 degrees because we just tried uh, some heat on that TC. So now we'll see the temperature climb as I apply heat to the TC. You notice the temperature climbs steady. That temp temperature probe is working properly and is wired correctly. Go. In the event that the TCs have been disconnected from their mounting blocks. It'll be hard to determine from this point which TC goes to which which connection point. One way to, one way to find out is to apply the uh, multimeter approach, connect each one individually, test the TC, and find out which is one, two, three, and so forth. Testing for proper function of TC 
tutorial. Again, we use a multimeter to determine if the temperature is uh, being read and it rises steadily when you apply heat to the thermocouple. Uh, you turn on your multimeter to read temperature. We read in Fahrenheit. We have our TC. Yellow is always positive. Red is negative. As soon as you make contact, you should at least uh, read a room temperature. In this case, it's room temperature. It's pretty cool. Does it react to heat? You might need some help with this. Again, you can apply heat to the temperature probe. And it steadily climbs.